It's currently 7.59, the computer's about to turn on. There we go. Bingo. Cubase immediately opens. And it loads my default synth warmer project. So just to recap what happened there, I've set the PC to automatically turn on at 8 a.m. That was done via the RTC settings in the BIOS. I know there are other ways to do it, like putting it to sleep beforehand or things like that, but I like to turn mine off just to be safe with the USB. Sometimes they don't reconnect. Then I've disabled the password requirement on Windows, so it just boots straight into Windows. And then I have this synth warmer project saved into my startup folder. So what happens is when Windows starts, it automatically starts everything in the startup folder, as I'm sure you're aware. And if any Cubase projects are in that folder, it automatically opens them also. So this project consists of my most used analog modeling synths, and I have them split by developer. So I have Arturia, Yuhi, D16, Softube, Tau, and then the effects so I'll get to in a second. So if I open the Juno 6, for example, I have that here loaded as a default init preset. That's also done in Cubase, and then so on and so forth. So Jupiter 8, MS20, Minimoog, Diva, Repro, then D16, Drummers on Nefaton, Fosion, Punchbox, Softube, I currently only have model 82, I need to get the rest. And then for Tel, I have Tel Baseline and then Tel Mod. Now you're probably wondering at this point, why on earth is he doing that? Well these plugins are all component based modeling. So obviously that means that every analog or electrical component that went into the original hardware synth has been modeled. So the first things that come to mind when you think of that are obviously the filters and the chips to make up the filters and the oscillators, etc. But there are also the, the transformer, the power supply, diodes, capacitors, everything that goes into a hardware synth impacts the sound. So with a hardware synth, typically it takes around 30 minutes for the synth to warm up properly and for the sound to be fully there, fully functioning. Don't get me wrong, it sounds, it sounds fine beforehand, but it's maybe a bit wonky or it takes a little bit time for everything to stabilize. So given that soft synths are component based, then logically it makes sense that you do the same to them, to warm them up beforehand, before use. So by starting the PC up at 8 o'clock, that gives me an hour before I typically start work at 9 for all of these commonly used synths to warm up and to be performing at their optimum before I start any session. You might be wondering, but you've only got one instance of each of these loaded up. What happens if you need to use another one? And obviously that is as simple as duplicating the track, like so. Then I have the second Juno here, and because I'm copying from the first one, it's already retained all the settings from the initial one that was loaded. So there's no concern over that. So let's delete that one for now. Let's just go back to the single instance. And then I've also done the same with the effect. So I have this split between dynamics and saturation. And if I open up the insert, I have quite a lot of effects here that I use regularly. So lots from Plugin Alliance, lots of channel strips and compressors. So this is an ever growing list. I'll continue to expand this list and then I might even need a Dynamics 2 at some point. And then similarly for saturation, I have the same, a lot of the commonly used saturation plugins that I use. And then again, once again, I will extend this list as needed. So to give a audio demonstration, this is a the Juno that I rendered last night. Let's have a listen. Quite good, quite usable. Now let's listen to the one from this morning that's now had an hour to warm up. You might think that's a bit subtle, but then let's put them side by side and then see if we can tell the difference. There's a little bit of volume difference there, so let's see if we can remove or mitigate that.
There's a lot more character in the one from this morning, for sure. Let's give it a bit more time to play out so we can digest that. Yeah, the second one is a lot more buzzy. And the first one's a lot more grittier. So I absolutely prefer to use the pre-warmed version of that. The other solution is to leave your door on permanently, but I think that's a bit ridiculous in these days of energy crisis. So I recommend whatever time that you typically start your productions, set your PC to start a little bit before that, maybe 30 minutes is sufficient. I should point out this is only for Windows, obviously. I have no idea how to do this on a Mac. I'm sure it's possible. I'm sure there's some kind of functionality there. So I hope you find that useful. It's an incredibly valuable tip that once I discovered it, I'm never going back. I hope that helps you in your productions and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.